So that is one. there really any space uh, in which you can operate? Because I was talking to a very senior government official. Yeah. And I was asking him about how come you only have one president since 1986? That's the same question. And that... you know what he said? No. He said, Shaka, to be very honest with you off the record, in Uganda, you cannot attempt to develop an appetite for the highest office in the land. We are told that it's dangerous. Um, it's 80% of Ugandans that have never seen another president. Is it because... I personally was only four years when he came to power. Is it because his supporters argue that uh, he is a uniquely gifted individual to the extent, in fact, that... Uh, he may probably be a political god is a gift for Uganda. Well, yeah. that's, that's uh, what the own hungers of every dictator say I until he falls. Mobutu had such people. Um, Mugabe had such people. Idi Amin Gaddafi, <laughs> they all had intelligent professors and Bokasa. doctors. Bokasa. and all the... They had intelligent Saddam people Hussein. spread in the beautiful Marcos. cities. Thank you very much. They all were praising him until the last day. So it does not surprise me to see a very educated, a very knowledgeable ambassador here promoting what is wrong. Anyway, to come back to your question about what I stand for, I stand for freedom. If some of us, especially, I, I'm sorry, but I speak so much for my generation. If we were born in a country that has no constitution, it would be okay. But we read in the first article of our constitution and says power belongs to the people. Some people that are calling you a Muhozi foreign project. I don't work for anybody. I work for Uganda. I was born in the ghetto. I was raised in the ghetto. And God helped me through the support of my people that I'm sitting um, in the studios of Voice of America today. So it is that voice that I will raise without fear or favor, no matter who it hurts. Would so, that mean perhaps that uh, the Mohozi project is legitimate as far as Uganda is concerned? Our aspirations are far bigger than Mohozi. Our aspirations maybe, maybe. are far bigger than the lucky few. We are the unlucky few. Maybe. The girls that I grew up with die every day giving birth. The boys that I grew up with are incarcerated in jails, spending four or five years without seeing a judge. They go, day, they go a day without a decent meal. These are the people that are unemployed. Those are